I gotta show you my shirt, what my shirt says. I'll do that. Let me know when we go live. Maybe I should try to use video. Try this one more time. It's love. All right. Let me pull up the, the view for us. Yeah. All right. I don't, I don't like my, my shirt. My shirt looks like somebody pulling me like, come here, baby, come here. Like, I don't know what's wrong with this crew neck thing. Oh, whatever. Your yeah, antlers, though. I know, right? I'm trying to do my pony. Well, hold up. Because I want my pony to kind of like show a little bit. All right, so. I'm trying to do my pony. Hold up. All right. <laughs> this is it's annoying the fuck out of me. Like, I, I like. Ain't nothing going right. My hair falling. <sighs> All right. Okay. Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ashley Lonnie, owner of Ashley's Yummy Tummy, where you have one happy belly. Make sure you go like my business page on Facebook as Ashley Jimmy Tummy Catering. Make sure you go to my YouTube page. Subscribe, like, comment on the YouTube page. It's Ashley Jimmy Tummy. Uh, go to my website, Ashley Jimmy Tummy. Um, make sure you follow my girls, our send them friend requests. Uh, we got Kisa, Kiki, we got Courtney. Um, yeah, so what this is, is um, this is a bonus episode for the holidays. I got, I'm trying to try to do like Christmassy, you know, stuff. I got my little uh my little five dollar Walmart shirt where it's like um see you on the naughty list, you know. Cause I've been a bad girl. <laughs> but how do white girls do I need a spanking? <laughs> you know, not really. Okay, but um, so we got some very interesting topics. Like I am excited about this episode, you know. Um it's the holidays. I mean, it's the holidays, and I was inspired by some things, you know. Um, not saying these topics are pertaining to me or these ladies, but these are just things that be on my mind, you know. All right, so let's jump into it. Um, how are you guys doing? How are, how was your day? How's you know, are you excited for the holidays? My day has been great. I'll go first since Kista ain't say nothing. Um, it don't oh, even yeah, feel like pause, Christmas. Pause, pause. Kista, I've been getting feedback. Oh, you got to they they want they. I don't know why a lot of people aren't agreeing with me. Uh, I'm gonna need more of that, you guys who are watching. But they agree a lot with you uh, with the things that you're saying. I don't I don't I don't know why. I've gotten that feedback <laughs> too. I'm low key jealous, you know. <laughs> but um, <laughs> they are agreeing. They love your um opinions, you know, or your thoughts and views. They just want a little more energy, you know, whatever. I don't know what that means, but you know. But so how are you excited for the holidays? What's what's going on with you guys? To me, it doesn't feel like Christmas. It feels like it's a regular day, and I'm just lucky enough to get a day off or two days off, should I say? Uh, I don't I don't you know, I don't have kids or a man, so I'm starting to, feel like, I'm starting to feel like that song, how that song go, what do the lonely do at Christmas, but I'm not really, I'm not lonely though, you know, so I don't, I don't feel like bad or anything, I'm just like, it's just, like you said, it's just another day, you know, but I, I have went Christmas shopping, I did, you know, I do have, you know, things, you know, or whatever, but um, I love I love this time of year. I love gift giving because I, I feel like I'm a, a great gift giver. What about you, Kista? Yeah, your shopping done. Are you are, are you have to do like the the black people Christmas like income tax income tax uh, shopping? So, so I uh I, I think I got a couple of IOUs out there. <laughs> not IOUs. Yeah, a couple of IOUs, you know, which would probably be done around tax time, okay. or unless we get our stimulus check. If we if we oh, get that, oh, uh, oh. cut it, cut <laughs> it. <laughs> Ain't happening. Ain't happening. I, I agree I, with the. Uh, we need the two thousand. I I agree with that. Like they're giving like cross seed internet. They're just giving them two 
much. I would get it. Six I'm not mistaken. Yeah. I thought I just read something today that the Republicans just rejected that. Yeah, they did. Like, we're not even yeah. getting the 600. They had agreed okay, so, on the 600. They yeah, just, but they sent it, the Senate sent it back. Listen, I don't know. I hope everybody that was out there shopping, just last minute shopping, all you Walmart and Target shoppers and Amazon Prime shoppers, if you were depending on that 600, like if you were spending it and they're like, oh, we're going to get the 600. I don't never bank. How do old people say it? Um, uh, something about the bird in the, in the basket, in the hand or something. Basically, if it's not in your hand, don't spend it. Somebody going to know what I'm talking about that's out there. They're going to know what I'm talking about. Yeah. But, all right, so talk, speaking on gifts, Christmas, holidays, let's get into our first topic, which is not only men have side dishes, sometimes women need a little appetizer themselves, you know? Uh, we're going to call them, we call it sneaky links, uh, boyfriend number two, um, or your side inward, or, you know, all right, you may not even have titles for them, you know, but, uh, women that are in relationships that does have a main boyfriend, but you got a little friend on the side, you know, it's the holidays. Do you buy them gifts? Do you buy your side dude a gift? What are your thoughts on that? Yay, nay, why? And if you do, why? Uh, if you say yes, then uh, is there a spending limit? Like, do they got a budget? Or like, like how, how do you, what's the thought process behind if you decide to buy your side dude a gift? Anyone can go first. Okay, so I'm gonna go first. So okay. Okay. I thought when I first saw that question, uh that kind of went two ways for me okay okay so one way was like how my uncle was bless him so he deceased now but how he was so he had a main okay but he had side pieces now the thing about you said pieces was, like plural yes oh, oh he had a uh, snack some so <laughs> yeah he had he had a couple of snacks okay so, i'm gonna tell you what he did though everybody knew about everybody and everybody knew the maid. Okay. The so maid is the one that got everything. She got birthday, Christmas, Valentine's. She got everything. The, the snacks knew they wouldn't get nothing. So I, I thought about it that way. But then okay. I thought about it the other way as if I had, if I could, because I, I can't cheat for nothing. But if I had side pieces or something like that, then I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't get them. I wouldn't get them anything. Okay, let's go with let's let's go with your you wouldn't. Now, if you if you didn't have morals and you did have a side piece, you did have a a little, a little sweet potato pie on the side, you know, a little patty pie <laughs> on the side. Why would you not buy him a gift? You don't think he's worthy? Because he's well, I mean, you're giving him your time. And your oh. body. I, I see where you're going with that. Me? You that see where Because I mean, I, obviously, I, I, you, yeah, if you, you're giving them the time, you care about them somewhat, at least. And you're, and you're giving them your body. Like, why not give them a gift? But there's a more, there's something behind it because I'm, I'm going to explain my, you know, but, but why wouldn't you do it? Um, well, I wouldn't do it because you're like my side dish in the first place like you're no, no, you're no, here no. right like you're just you're here on my when i want oh, and oh, when oh, like oh. that's what side pieces are it's <laughs> just when you want and how you want so i mean and and usually your side dishes are a little cheap anyway they they're really not expensive oh my god so dollar menus Right, so it's like <laughs> if if I do have a side, if I do have a little stack of something sweet potato pie on the side, I mean, it, if I was to get you something, I mean, I probably no more than five dollars, but you might as well not give them a gift at all. <laughs> okay, right? Gift card, like, damn, get them some. 
Keisha, you can at least get them a Damn. gas card so they can come see you, like the sneaky link. Get them a gas card. Okay. Shut up. A gas card. <laughs> I guess I'm saying, like, a gas card. Next meet up on me. <laughs> see, that's, see, that's, see, that's the thing. If, if you're going to be talking about a gas card. Look, look, get them some Gatorade. Get them some little, Gatorade or something. For, hydrate them or something. Like some electrolyte. If you're going to be my little side piece and stuff, like you got to be able, you got to be ready to, to, to get over here and like and all that stuff. Like, you're nine out of ten. You're a side piece just for a reason and a particular reason, and that's about I've it. Never like, thought you would have said no. I, I would have sworn you would have said, "Oh, of course, that's the godly thing to do." Well, <laughs> you also got to think, Ashley. Keith ain't gonna have like in real life. She ain't gonna have no side piece. Yeah, but she, but she is saying if she did have one though. The, she, but I'm she, exactly she me so by, you like, she, in real life, Keisha wouldn't have a side piece, so that wouldn't happen to begin with. So if she did have a side piece, why would she do that? You all see that's what I'm true. To say? But I also look at it from a dude point of view too. Like, why you think a lot of dudes treat their side piece the way they treat them? Some of them, some treat their side piece like gold because they want to hold on that long. Me, on the other hand, if I just want you here for this one purpose and main purpose, when I'm ready to go, I'm ready to let you go. And I don't want all this other attachment to it. Because, see, that keeps them longer when you start investing all that stuff in them. You're now becoming more than a side piece. Well, I, I'm, well, if I was a side piece, I want, I want the perks. Like, I thought that's what it was. Like, I thought the perks of being a side piece is you get pretty much almost damn near everything that the main chick gets. But you just don't have to deal with the headache. Like you can send him home. Like he can go home to his family. And you can just relax and bask in all the luxury and material things, you know, and go on vacations and get your bills paid. And, I would think know. so too. Doesn't normally like the guy give the side piece like gifts and stuff to keep her quiet? And depending on their, their source of income, if they have it, they have her a whole apartment. Like, yeah. oh, oh, isn't that a kept woman? I would say that's the kept woman. That's one of the reasons why I do not like that word, but. Yeah, like like they're at, the side pieces at their beck and call, like what you were saying with your dude, Kista, that he's whenever you want him, when you want to see him. That's why I was like, well, dog, at least you can get the man a gas card. Like, jeez, let him pull up. <laughs> like, I mean, I I mean, 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 I so slow. <laughs> Hold on. Damien said, what are you buying with the five dollars? He's curious. <laughs> yeah, what yeah? Good question, Damien. <laughs> Come on. Elaborate. Five dollars. I guess it all depends on who 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 the side piece is, how he is. Like oh, so you got standards. Oh okay. So let's let's just I because now I want to know what exactly you're buy. Because I mean five below is amazing. I don't know if you ever heard of the I story. Need to go yes. there. I, a lot of people I love that. Deandra, shots out of Deandra. Hi, Deandra. You told me about that, and I still haven't been there yet, but I'm it's going amazing. to go. You can get anything there. But um, like, okay, let's say he's not someone like I feel like you would if you chose to have a side person, it wouldn't be someone that you're like totally, totally into like that. So let's just say like you care about the person like as a person or so, like maybe friend wise you care about them like on that level, not necessarily just strictly just side business. Strictly maybe you care about them as a friend. What are you going to spend on them for, with the five dollars? Okay, so if I have a caring side to it. More than that, then I mean it would be more than five dollars. I probably would get you a ten dollar gift card or give you some gas money or oh you ain't oh I mean but that's what I said like I look look at how much I want to keep you around. So so okay so with that theory with what you're saying it sounds like you're saying. I agree with why side, side side dudes, side pieces does holds no weight. They are replaceable like that. Um to you according to what how you're saying. Um you don't want them to feel special. You don't want them to, to feel like they um can question you and say where you going, when you when I'm gonna see you again. Like you you just want them to just, hey, I need to see you. Okay. Like submit to you pretty much. Right, because then what's the point of having a main if they gonna be halfway the main as well? Well, typically a side person is is for sexual gratification anyway. Like, I mean, it's sexual sexual gratification and also like that emotional, like kind of talking. But a lot of women do the pillow talking, which end up getting made 
do kind of jam if they're in that street life or whatever. But um, if you're just like a married mom, housewife type, or just stressed out, you know, it's just a sexual, it's like some people go get manis, petties, some people go get massages. She just like her massage with his clothes on. Me, me and my old boss, well, not my old boss, but my boss to my second job at the hotel, mm-hmm. she was telling me about one of her friends who prefers to be the side chick like her like she likes to be the side chick to married one uh, married men because she doesn't like being emotionally attached to anyone like that and so that's literally why she does it they could do their business and go home and she's only messing with that person and she to me that's a little iffy I mean she don't really know the person like that already if you already trying to be interested in a married man so you don't know how many other people he's doing this to but she's like it's like almost like a safe environment the only person he's going to is that other woman instead of her getting emotional true and who's going to do the same thing to her that's not true that is so that's what she thinks I'm just saying and then how she has another friend who literally deals with married men over the over the self-gratification that she one does that make sense that she um, like what? She, that this man is in a committed relationship he doesn't you know he has the ring he's living in the house but he's still doing what he can to see her she doesn't necessarily have to be actually have feelings for that man but the fact that that man is basically risking everything to have a night she with like, her she like that for real that- it's almost like a power thing yeah actually she needs therapy as well <laughs> I'm not, saying, she, she look, needs, I'm not needs, agreeing with this I'm just saying these are some no, no, I know, I know. You give, you're giving great examples of why women prefer to be we need to have a side chick on the show like I, 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 I don't I couldn't speak on behalf of a side chick the only thing I can say is if I was but I have had other guys you know but um, it's not like there was a secret like I've had like a main dude that I may have talked to and I've had maybe like one or two extra on the side you know like potato wedges you know catch up you know um, but those are typically like emotional you know talking or whatever um, and then I realized that I'm such an awesome woman that that doesn't work out because guys act like oh we just friends and then they be trying to slide on in there, you know. I'd be like, "Oh, you no." And then that causes a problem. Then it's just it's just too much. Um. Okay. So what about you, Courtney? Um. The question is, would you get your side guy a gift for the holidays? If not, why? If you did, how much? And what would be the reasons? Take it from there. There's levels to it. I mean, I wouldn't have a side guy because personally, I just think that's just too much work. <laughs> um, it is. When you really think about it, like, it's a lot of work. It is because you got to keep up with this. You got, he whining, he whining, he, like, I ain't come exactly, up with it. Exactly. But say <laughs> if I was willing to put in that work to have a side dude, it okay. would have to, like, okay, so Ryan Wilkerson said, if you get them a gift, they're going to think that it's more than what it is. I would say that's not necessarily true all the time. If the person, like, y'all have made it clear that this is what it is, this is what it's going to be type of thing. That doesn't necessarily work. But, I mean, for some, I'm not saying it always works, but I'm saying for the people that you know that this is what it is, this is what it's going to be type of thing. um, Would I get that? I would probably get that person a gift. Because for me, if if I put in the work to have a side person, I chose you to be my side man, I care about you on some type of level. Right. You know right. what I mean? To some type of level. Even if it's very minimal, I care about you. Cause I'd put I'm putting in that work for you to be right. Like, so <laughs> I would get them a gift. I don't right. think I would spend like hundreds of dollars. I'm not gonna get well, we talked about this earlier. It depends. If it was a friends of benefits, that that changes. But if it was a side pause, 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 pause. So friends with benefits and a side dude is two different. That that's the levels that are you that you're saying like are. Yeah, because if it's a friends with benefits, that means I'm not in a relationship to begin with. Okay, okay. I wouldn't call someone if I'm in a relationship and I'm seeing someone else too. I wouldn't call them a friends with benefits situation. You can't call that that. That's a side man. 
Okay, so can you have a friends with benefits, meaning there's no commitment, it's just a sexual thing, and recruit somebody like a side dude? Or, or it would he wouldn't be the second guy that you're talking to and dealing with wouldn't be a side dude because you're not in a committed relationship, period. Right, I wouldn't call him a side dude. I know some okay. people be like, you know, I have a main guy that I talk to, but I also talk to other people. I wouldn't call those other people side people. Okay, you know what I mean? Because I, I, do I don't, I have someone that I mainly talk to, but they're not my main. We're not together. Right, okay, okay. So, but if we're talking about a side dude, I would get them a gift, but I wouldn't like spend hundred. like I wouldn't buy him no PS5, but <laughs> I would like, you know, <sighs> maybe like a... Fifty dollar gift card, something like that. Maybe a bottle of cologne. Okay, so, like so 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 fifty would be your max for your side dude. I guess you could say that, yeah. Okay, okay. That's if I knew for a fact that they weren't going to take it that way. Now, if they've been a little iffy, talk about I wish it was me instead of him, then I'm not getting that. <laughs> <laughs> so emotionally invested. Because you take right. it too far. Because if you my side man, I already if I'm making you my side man, I already went in this with no intentions on leaving my main. You know what I mean? I, if if I wanted to be with you and only you, I would have I wouldn't be with the person I'm with for my main. But if I'm like okay, yeah, you could be my side man or whatever, I have no intentions on leaving that person. So I can't we can't cross that line of emotional investment. All right. Okay. So once again, the question is. Um, do your sneaky link or side guy um, deserves, would you get him a gift? Okay. My answer is most definitely yes. I treat all my men. Um, I am Oprah when it comes to gift giving. Or, 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 I like to make people feel special, you know? Um, <laughs> you get a gift. You get a gift. You get a gift. Like, I, I mean, they love me like and I fucks with them you know um I appreciate them like I appreciate all my men past and present (laughs) and if you're watching out there via YouTube when I'm uploading on YouTube like I miss some of y'all you know um I miss some of y'all come back to me <laughs> no no because i'm trying to i'm trying to i'm trying to be a committed woman you know this is new to me but um but yeah i most definitely get all my guys gifts um now as far as limit it depends on how i feel about you and how you treat me your your gift limit is up to you it, it, it's totally up to him um if if like if you like a lazy side dude, and I, I don't mean just like a sexual type of thing, but I just mean like, I it's kind of weird kind of going back to what Keith was saying, but you kind of need to make me feel like I'm your girl a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, even though I may be in a situation or something, this is hypothetical, but if I'm in a situation like I still want to feel like I'm your girl, like I still want to wake up and have like two good morning, beautiful text messages. One for my main and one for my side. I don't care. Okay. He don't have to do it. But his gifts will determine that. You know, you want to be Keista 5? Or you want to be Courtney on 50? Or you want to be Ashley's Yummy Tummy 500? Uh, what, what, what you want to do? You know, I, would I, you give your side man a $500 gift? It, yeah, I would. Like, I have no problem doing that. If he put it in work, like well, I actually, we've been friends for a couple of years now. I want a five hundred dollar gift too, Courtney. We also do not have a sexual relationship. <laughs> we you also <laughs> don't give me massages. You also don't give me get my nails done, my hair done. You never flew me out anywhere. Like I'll that's fly you out, girl. I know you would, but no, no. <laughs> okay, you ain't giving me no sexual relationship. Okay, all right. Okay, so. This is the thing. I believe, and 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 this, please hear me out when I say this. It's like a math equation. I know y'all may trip about the five hundred dollars. I prom- y'all be like, oh my god, why would you do that? Let me tell you something. And this is facts. The <laughs> Jay Tabby said, "What the fuck?" Who said that? <laughs> Jay Tabby said, "What the fuck?" <laughs> he know he. Be- anyway, um. <laughs> He know he spent more. Like, he need to stop. But anyway, um, 
the me me giving 500 is nothing compared to what they give you when they like you when they fucks with you i'm telling you i i trips hair nails all i'm doing is just like hey how you doing like conversation talking you know if it's a sexual relationship with typically probably would be you know they give you gifts because they're trying to impress you and then some of them do be wanting to um it start out like what Courtney said, like, we know what this is. Ain't no, I'm not leaving my dude or whatever. But some of them start liking you a little more. So they start doing a whole lot more. You ain't even asked for it. You ain't even asked for it. So me putting in the 500 is nothing because he probably done gave me that. Like, you probably done invested like 2,500 in me already. I do do math, you know. So, but if I have to overspend, like, it's not a problem with me. So, me, my, my budget for my side dude, you could be a $50 person or you could be a $500 guy. It all depends on how you treat me. And um, I've spent money. Like, uh, one guy, you know, uh, one guy recently, like, I would have bought him a phone. Like, he wants a phone. And, uh, I was considering purchasing the phone, which was like a thousand dollars, but I was like, nope, calm down, Ashley. I had to talk myself out of it. I was like, calm down, you know, you don't really know him like that. I'm glad yeah. you had that conversation with Yeah. No, 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 I'm not like that. I'm like, I ain't no sugar mama. Okay. Like, I ain't no sugar mama. But I do math. Like I spend depending on how they treat me and how much they done invested in me. So I have no problem like um, treating my side dude. Um, and if I feel like I can, like what Courtney was saying, playing off of what Courtney said, if I don't feel like I'm gonna get you anything, I don't, I don't feel like I should even be talking to you. Like you're pointless. Like my gift giving or my, I do appreciation gifts. It ain't just for holidays. Like one time, like I bought a guy, like, uh, and I listen, I pay attention to my, my guys as well. Um, he liked the 49ers. 40, San Francisco 49ers or whatever. So I was like, oh, okay. So I uh bought him some, like, I went looking for, like, uh me- what is it? Memorabilia or some crap like that? What are you laughing at, Brandon? No, my, my mom is listening to music. I heard something I like. <laughs> oh. So, like, I was looking for stuff, but they had, like, a lot of, because it's, like, a football NFL and stuff, like, they had, like, high price stuff. And so the type of guy he was, I was like, I'm not spending no $50 on no hoodie. I ain't spending no $100 on no jacket. So you know what he was? He was a $25 flip-flop guy. I bought us a $25 flip-flop. But there was potential. He he had potential to get high-valued stuff. But the type of energy that he was giving me, you know, he didn't deserve that. But he deserved something because he gave me money you know he give me time he give me you know so i just want to give him like an appreciation token so i got him flip-flops for like 25 dollars. you know so the answer to my question is yes i'll give them a gift and their budget depends on how they treat me courtney yes she would get them a gift uh 50 dollars max kisa yes she would get them a gift if she chose to you know have a side guy um her max is ten dollars uh, what's the cause? So, Brandon Rogers says, so true, Ashley. It's about the love and appreciation they show you. I can see that. And then he also said if he's doing the same for same or more. And then <laughs> Damien said, 500, you lit, Ash. How much your main get? Oh, my main? Oh, listen. Let me tell you something. Oh, it depends. It, let, me, doing the same for same or more. Let, me, let me say, okay, with the main guy, they typically don't need anything. They don't need anything. They don't really want anything. This is experience, speaking from experience. They usually just want to see me happy, you know? So the, if anything, they'd be like, I'm, I'm just being honest. Like, I'm just, I'm so serious. So I have to do a little bit more, like a little bit more digging. So I might have to like sneak and like listen to conversations that they're having, you know, with people or, or it may be like a, God damn it. And I'm like, what's wrong with you? Uh, the damn uh, water pump done went out, you know? And so I'm like, uh-huh, water pump. <laughs> That's their appreciation gift, you know? Uh, so I'll do a cash app, 
And then I in the uh, four part, I'll put water pump, love ya, L U V, not L O V E, you know. Um, yeah, so yeah, but um to answer the question, usually the main guy. It's not unlimited, but it's usually harder to get stuff for them because they typically already have everything. Um, Cause I, I, I like to deal with men that real men, you know, that can be self-sufficient or whatever. Um, but yeah, do we have any more questions or comments? Just laughing emojis. <laughs> well, glad you guys enjoyed that. Okay, so second question is, um, which holiday does your boyfriend number two, our side dude, get to celebrate with you? Okay, we can run down the holidays. Let me, oh, God. Okay, January is like um, New Year's. You guys can hit me out. January is New Year's Eve, New Year's. Uh, February, Valentine's. March, St. Patrick's Day. April, Easter. May is Memorial Day. June is... I don't know what's in June, but we're going to say um, Juneteenth, like the freedom thing. July is, of course, 4th of July. August. And my birthday. Okay. August. I don't know what's in August. Uh, September, Labor Day. October, Halloween. November, Thanksgiving. Christmas is in December. So, which holiday would you, or which holidays, plural, would you um, say would like to spend with your side? Like, if you'd be like, because usually... I know they like in the dark. They like sneaky links, you know, they're a secret. But which holiday would you spend with them like actually on that day? For example, right now, the holidays are here, Christmas. Of course you wouldn't spend Christmas with them. You got to spend it with your main dude. So would you spend the day before Christmas, Christmas Eve? Or would you spend the day after Christmas? This is just an example, but it doesn't have to be Christmas. Which holiday so which holiday would you actually spend on with them? So Christmas wouldn't be it because you, you know, which Christmas, which day do you think they deserve? For me, it's whatever day my main is occupied with. So <laughs> if it's, uh, no, I mean, granted, the only thing I know about celebrating St. Patrick's Day is like someone going to have a St. Patrick's Day party or something like that, right? Okay. So if that, if we're going to count that as a holiday, say that that holiday came around and my main was like, you know, I'm going out with the boys, blah, blah, blah. There's a St. Patrick's Day, whatever. Oh, you're going to be busy? Cool. All right. Have fun, boo. <laughs> and then I'll spend the rest of the night with my main, I mean, with my side man or whatever. But if it's any holiday where my main's like, we're doing this, or did you want to do something? They automatically got that. I'm not going to jeopardize anything that I got going on. <laughs> Especially because, I, like I said, I, don't, I wouldn't do a side man because that's just too much work. And so if I had one, I'm not going to really care if you really there or not. I may care about you to a certain extent, but if I have a side man, I have no intentions on jeopardizing what I got with my main. So whatever he wants to do, whatever he got going on, he's going to go before you. So if that happens to be every holiday throughout the 12 months of the year, you just got to look. I'll catch you on the Saturdays when he working or, you know, <laughs> something like that. Okay, let me let me go with your. So basically, you went with possibly St. Patrick's Day, right? Well, let me tell you, I'm familiar with St. Patrick's Day because you know I do festivals and stuff. Okay, what's funny? What we catching the comments? What? My aunt, <laughs> she just got in the line. Okay, so all right, so St. Patrick's Day, that's more of an outdoor event. That's like you know drinking and all this other stuff, right? For the Irish. So if your main dude saying, hey, I'm going out with the boys, word of advice, you and your side dude need to stay in. Because typically, St. Patrick's Day, that's like bar hopping, drinking. So you don't want to go out for a drink with your side dude. And then you just happen to bump into your uh, main guy or what your main guy, you know, like on episode four, your main guy friend, a homeboy see you. And then now he world star like, yo, what you doing over here? You know, who, who buddy, you know? So spend that day with him, that holiday with him, but make it an indoor event. You'd be like, you know, be like, no, you know, just, I just want to spend time with you. You know, I just I'm not going out in public with you. <laughs> but sometimes depending on how long you've been with them and how long, like how much, how much feelings they have for you. They might start acting like females. They start asking questions. Then it's time like, for you to go. <laughs> if you're getting that invested and I have 
they like, why, why we can't go to IHOP? Why, why we gotta go to, why we gotta, always gotta go to Waffle House? Like, because it's two, three o'clock in the morning. No, you ain't gonna know IHOP. What's wrong with you? We ain't even going to IHOP. We're gonna get DoorDash. I'm sorry. <laughs> <Uber No. East. laughs> we ain't going nowhere in public. And if you're like, man, why you always trying to keep me in the house? You got a problem with it? We can go ahead and end this now. Go ahead and find you a girl that's going <laughs> to appreciate you to the fullest. Because you was my side. <laughs> we not doing this. <laughs> I mean, I appreciate you, but not in today's time. You know? exactly. not in the- <laughs> go find you someone who's going to show you off, boo. Right. I encourage you. So what about you, Tista? What day that you actually would spend what holiday would you spend with your side dude April that he would deserve? Day. Huh? April Fool's Day. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, because look, 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 if she go out with him on April Fool's Day, her man walk by, she goes, April Fool's! <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh my God, that is so hilarious. April Fool's Day. Let me write that down. <laughs> so crazy, but that is, that is a good one. That is a good but, one. But I don't know if if I had one, it couldn't. It, it really wouldn't be able to be some a big major. So Christmas right, is right, out, right. Thanksgiving is out. Um, I'm like with Courtney. It would probably be St. Patrick's Day, maybe even Memorial Weekend, because they might all want to go somewhere. Him and the right. boys. You know them. You know the, the guys yeah. like. The boys and go to the bike yeah, thing or whatever you know <laughs> just somewhere around that time you know where he would okay. go and all that but if if on a holiday holiday it would be the day after though because that okay. is your holiday is it should i think it should be with the main okay all right i agree um okay let me give you a little bit of background why this question came up I had a guy that was like, yo, um, go ahead and book a room for Valentine's Day. And I was like, who are you talking to? <laughs> he was, and he, I was, he was like, I'm going to mute. I was like, what you say? He's like, go ahead and book a room for uh, Valentine's Day before they all get booked up. Who the fuck told you that I was going to be spending Valentine's Day with you like the audacity of this guy valentine's day and that when he said that that like courtney that made me be like oh, this not like me like you know which i already knew because he 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 invests a lot you know but you know he thought he was doing so when he said that he was doing something like he, I know, he was but you know he, i he mean was like, a like, like let me, let me, i'm gonna get it with this one Go ahead and book the room so they don't, you know what I mean? Like, Which, I mean, he has a great idea. Like, if yeah. he was my main, yeah, he, that's uh, perfect. Like, let's book it months in it, like two months in advance or whatever, you know. But uh, I'm like, no, especially if you know I got a guy that I'm dealing with. Like, no. And he literally said, fuck that nigga and i was like oh this sound like a restraining order about to happen you know like but he thought he was showing something like i'm gonna put it in the word just give me a gift and i'm just gonna get it on uh when i get back you know when i get back and then and and, and and valentine's day i already know well you gotta put your phone on silent you know because you know <laughs> listen so that kind of perked up my interest. Like, do side dudes do that? Like, do side dudes request ho- certain holidays? You know, because Valentine's Day is associated and affiliated with lovers. You know, not sneaky links or creepy crawlies. You know, like late at night stuff. And I was like, the audacity of this guy. And I was like, he can't be the only one. He can't be the only side dude that feel like this. That is feeling like. Yo, I want Valentine's Day with that girl. I want, I want I a Christmas with you. The side dude has like real feelings though. Mm, I think he, I think he did because he started sending me like songs and shit, like love songs, like Beyonce loves. So I was like, what you doing? I was like, hey, are you over there thinking about me? My you know? sister says Cinco de Mayo. Oh, see, Cinco de Mayo is like, um, yeah, I forgot. That's my favorite um holiday. Uh, when I do food in it, 
uh, Florence after five. Um, yeah, that's kind of like St. Patrick's Day. Like they do a lot of drinking and stuff on that day as well. Um, my holiday, if I chose a holiday with a guy, would probably be it couldn't be a family orientated holiday. So it would be like a holiday where didn't really do much. Um, can't be New Year's Eve, like bring it in because that's a big event. Um, yeah, maybe Labor Day. So that's like in September. Probably Labor Day, but I love y'all idea, especially Keisha. I love the uh, Memorial Day because guys do go down, and, like you said, Courtney, they do go down to Black Bikers Week. And so for me, as their woman that not want to go with them, because you know they be looking at ass and, you know, they, they be all distracted by other females and shit. So while you down ain't thinking you doing something, let me go over here and, right, you know. I'm going to get distracted too. <laughs> um, right. That- <laughs> Damien said, back in the days when I didn't love myself, I was a side dude to a girl and I spent Valentine's night with her and the next night. He said, when he didn't love himself, was that a disclaimer? Yeah, that he was so started? stupid. <laughs> he said, back in the days when I didn't love myself, I was a side dude to a girl and I spent Valentine's night with her and the next night. Wait, Damien, so let me know, did you spend, did she spend her Valentine's day with her man? And you just got the night and the night and the next night. So did he like go to work or something? Or that's what? Well, he said Valentine's night. And right. So he night. so he must have worked night shift. You see what I'm saying? Because like usually that's a whole because like Valentine's Day people usually go out of town or something. So mm-hmm. if he spent that night with her and the next. He must be was from out of town or something like. That's what I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I wonder what like did did like they spend Valentine's Day together and then maybe I don't know. Maybe he had to go to work the next day or something. I don't know. Right. I want him to clarify. I'm curious. Interesting. Hmm. Very interesting. And did he develop feelings for his uh his um girl that girl? Yeah. Did you develop feelings? The audience would like to know. And did she gift you anything? Did she give you little? tokens of appreciation <laughs> that never mind um, <laughs> oh did, oh no it's valentine's did he buy her a gift because it's valentine's or was the, the penis the gift what's it called he said couldn't have because she was working during the day and he most definitely worked third shift yes i knew it i knew it I knew and they said y'all asking too much now no 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 we just this is just research purposes research purposes. <laughs> research purposes <laughs> research okay at purposes. least answer did you get her a gift and did she get you a gift right Since that pertains to what the topic was about exactly yeah. we're waiting the audience would like to know i need to put like i need to get sounders with like dun, 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 dun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but you know no no so while he's typing if he chooses to answer we're going to skip on to the next yes we did the next the follow-up question is how much was it like it was there (laughs) was she a 25 or 50 or 500 matter of fact did he pay for the room oh this is so interesting i know right (laughs) See, I see, I told you these topics be great. Okay, so while he's doing that, we're gonna move on to the third question, you guys. Okay, this is still dealing with the holidays, but we're we're backing off from being side side guys. So we're gonna let y'all cool off. All right, so now we're talking about because of the holidays, we're talking about getting engaged because you know it's Christmas, and so a lot of <laughs> so. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'll say by 8 p.m., I'm going to estimate at least three. I I think I got like over 1,300 Facebook friends. I'm going to say I'm going to at least see three engagements, three engagements. So the question here is for you ladies, which I kind of, I already know Keith's answer, I think. And I'm torn between Courtney's answer. But the question is, would you like to get engaged on a holiday or a major holiday or would you like your engagement on a whole separate day for example christmas is tomorrow do you want your guy your fiance your boyfriend who will be your fiance to get on front of his knees and say 
would you be mine forever and a day? And for like on a holiday, or do you want it like later, like a, a whole different day? So anybody can go. Okay. And why? So I'm gonna answer that first, but I want to know what's your guess about me. Oh, glad you asked. So I feel like Kista would want it on a major holiday. And the reason why, and I, I'm going to say Thanksgiving, because she wants everybody involved. She wants her whole family and friends and everybody that she loves there. And that holiday, everybody would be there. And then on top of that, it's Thanksgiving. So his speech will be amazing. He'll be like, not only am I thankful for God, for God placing you in my life in this fried turkey and sweet potato pie cool. and candy yams, but I'm also thankful for you. Um, would you be my forever? Would you be my sweet potato pie forever? And she goes like, oh my God. <laughs> I'm the first one out of the clip. Yes. <laughs> yes. Beat that, Ashley. Yeah. <laughs> So I think Kista's answer would be yes. And I'm going to guess what her day would be either Thanksgiving. What's another? Thanksgiving or Christmas. So, so yeah. So we're going to tweak the question. So if you're saying yes, give me a day that which holiday you wanted to be on. Okay. So you kind of got piece of that right. Okay. Only piece. So which okay. one, which part you want you want to know first? The one you got wrong or the one you got right? Nope, nope. Uh uh I don't know what she got, got right. right. The one I got right. You wanna know what you got right? Okay, um, so you dig you did get it right as far as I want my family or I don't know how to, okay. or everybody there. No, you got that part right. As far okay. as I want my family there, my family and friends there. That part is correct. Okay, so the part that you got wrong is when. Okay. Uh, I really don't want a holiday because everybody does a holiday. Rather it's Valentine's, rather it's Christmas, rather it's Thanksgiving. I know last year, I probably last year and the year before on Christmas, I probably had at least like 20 engagements down my timeline. And everybody kind of had the same ring as well. And Ooh. but you know when engagement rings come out and it's that popular one. Um, you know, they both, you know, it's like everybody goes for that one that has come out at the time. None of my but, but I good. don't want that. So, like being that this is live, everybody can see this, y'all can hear this now. I done told my family, like okay. whom Go the ahead. Lord, you know, brings to me as my husband, I want it unique. I want okay. it different. I don't want my ring the same like everybody else. Me either. Um, I do want to be surprised, but I want it to be unique. I don't care if it's on a whole Wednesday, Tuesday. I just want it unique. Okay. But in also in a way that as many as my family members and my friends can be there. And you guys can make sure y'all there with the cameras and stuff too, with your crew. I see where you're going with that. Um, <laughs> let me ask you a follow-up question. Why is it important for your family and friends to be there? Two reasons. Okay. The the family and stuff that I will want to be there, they've always been a part of my life. That's okay. one reason. They've always been a part of my life, and I want them there. The second reason is I ain't got to worry about telling everybody. <laughs> they already be there. Okay. And then with and then with them taking pictures and sharing and all that stuff, I ain't gotta do all that hard work. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So Courtney, um, what is yours? I want to know what your guess was. Why are you torn with me? Okay. Um because you're kind of like me a little bit. With, with a, a discussion or whatever um you kind of like me as far as like we don't care per se we care but we don't care as long as it's done right you know um but you're you're way more extravagant than I am uh I don't know you're you're, you're a tough cookie because so because if I say the things that I be thinking then you be flipping it you know so I'm just gonna say that 
Now go ahead and do it. Cause I, I don't know with you. I just, I don't know. I don't, I, I mean. I, okay. This might be real selfish of me if you want to say so because okay. <laughs> like I said it doesn't have to like for if someone wears to propose to me it doesn't have to be in front of a whole bunch of people like you said I just want it done right there needs to be right. effort there needs to be like some thought process behind it right um but I'd rather you not do it on the holiday actually because it should be about what we got going on you know what I mean like I don't want to spend like, oh, this is the day we got engaged every Thanksgiving. I don't want that. Right, right. That's and then I definitely, definitely don't want you engage, uh, proposing to me on my birthday. I would hate that. I would hate that so much. <laughs> granted, it would be like, you know, especially if I was in love with the person I knew that I wanted to marry them and stuff, granted, it would be all right. You know, I'd go with the flow like, yes, oh my God. But at the end of the day, I'm be like, why did you have to do it today though? <laughs> why, right. why would you hate it on your birthday though? Huh? Why would you hate it on your birthday? Because it's my birthday. And I don't want to share my birthday and my engagement day on the same day. Oh. Party me, me and you are. <laughs> I, it's, it's my day. I don't want to share that with you. I, and that might be real selfish. That might be the real Leo in me, but that's just the bottom line for me. Like, I don't want to share my day with someone else. And Unless you know, we have the same birthday, because then, you know, it's still our own day. But, like, I don't want to share my, like, every birthday I have. And then what if we get divorced? And then, then I got to spend every birthday after that thinking, oh, I got engaged to my ex on this day. Like, I don't, no. You have a whole separate day. Right? Exactly. I'd rather have a whole separate day. But if it was on a holiday, okay, cool, whatever. Just make sure it's not on my birthday. <laughs> right. Okay, so as far as me, um, I... Courtney damn near said what I how I feel, which is uh no holiday. Please don't. I would like its own separate entity, own separate day. Um, I don't want it on a predictable day like my birthday, Valentine's Day, um, Christmas. Um, you know, I don't want it on those days. Um, I most definitely it does not, I don't want it to be with my family. I actually don't want that. Um, the reason why I think it's more of a, a me thing um, are around my friends because I want to surprise them bitches. Like, I want to be like, <laughs> you will never guess what happened. I want to be like Kelly, Pro Kelly Price way. She called her mom. She's like, he proposed to me. Like, I'm just going to play that. I'm going to play in the background. They go like, what happened? <laughs> like, I'm going to... Like, girl, he don't know what he getting himself into, but this. Um, so I want it to be his own separate day. I don't want my, I want the, um, but I want it memorable. I want, like, I like, I love a guy that is very attentive. Like, he pays attention to detail. If you're out there listening, my future guy, um, whoever it may be, um, I, I, I'm, I'm a sucker for corny shit. Like I am, I know I'm a little rough around the edges, you know, sassy and southern, but I'm very romantic. Like, hence y'all know I buy my guys gifts, like little trinkets and stuff, you know. Um, if he did like the first date thing, you know, like where you remember when you had this color on, remember these color contacts you had in, <laughs> remember your hair was like this, remember you ordered the bacon wrap shrimp, and I'm like, I'm gonna cry, like, it takes a lot for me to cry, like, honestly, I, I cry quicker by watching TV shows when I'm emotionally invested in a character, and they, like, die or something, I cry quicker with stuff like that, but, um, but yeah, I um I don't want it on a holiday. I want it on a separate day. It does not have to be uh with my family and stuff because I want to be the one to break the news. Unlike with Keista, she don't want to, you know, I'm just going to do a conference call. Like, thank God. One thing about the pandemic is we learned about these, comp these Zoom calls and stuff. I'm like, everybody, emergency meeting, you know. But, uh, you know, I'm gonna be like, ah. um, as far as like the ring goes, uh do not get me nothing that's in the circular that's on sale in the paper but i think your guys should know that about you all freaking ready 
if like Tisa said, if he gets you a ring that everybody else got on their time, like I'm like, so you ain't put no thought into this, huh? He don't want that speech. He don't want that. See, my thing is it doesn't um, <laughs> my thing is it doesn't have to necessarily be out of trend or whatever. It just needs to be something that you know I would like. You don't have to know the exact exact yeah. ring that I want, but you have to know like the style that I want, the kind of things that I'm like the styles that I'm kind of into. But see, my thing about getting a ring is kind of hard, especially if you're not like an avid jewelry wearer type and of thing. And that's when he contact your best friend. But if but sometimes your friends wouldn't even know. Like I don't even think Tavy, and she's like my best best friend. If someone asked her, if someone asked Tavy, like what kind of ring i don't think she would know exactly what i would want what well, is she probably know like well, oh that's too much you know she probably know price, that huh the price too much or like the bling bling is too much like the bl- like the look okay like she would know like oh that's too much like courtney's not gonna wear that okay or, well, then this is a great topic then so now women who are dating someone seriously with a purpose go ahead and talk to your three people that your guy will be Con, uh consulting with and go ahead and let's get it locked down all right so let's go ahead so when they do reach out you know because i don't know how to bring that conversation up naturally that's the thing because like you i'll never be the girl, girl huh with your home girl that's like, what i don't want to i don't want to bring that that question i don't want to bring that topic up with the idea i feel like the only way i would bring that up is if we were talking about me getting married and i don't want I never want to anticipate when someone's going to propose to me. I don't never want that to happen. Does that make sense? Like you don't want to feel like it's happening because it ruins. Right. I don't. I'm not going to be the girl to start leaving wedding magazines around. I'm not going to be the girl to be like, oh, that'd be so cute if we ever got married. If we, you know, had these colors. I'm never going to be that girl. I'm. I don't. I never want to try to be the girl to try to put in my man's head that I want to get married. Like you have to. Oh, never. Oh well. Okay, I'll say this. I would never, because you know how I was like, I don't really care about marriage. You know, I'm good with a power of attorney and a prenup, you know, and my babies. But um, I have now, I have talked about marriage um, because it's important, like, to the men, the grown men that I've been dealing with, they actually want to get married. So I do entertain those conversations, not frivolously. You know, I do talk about it with a purpose. Um, But we talk about the things that are anticipated and expected in a marriage. So I do have those conversations, but like you said, I'm not pressuring no man. And I damn sure ain't about to be Chrissy off of love and hip hop while proposing to a man either. I'm not doing that. No, I buy tricking. I buy PS5 oh, I before I buy comment? an engagement ring. Yeah, sure. Um, What's it called? Damien said that, oh, the roses was 60, the balloon was 10, and the candy was five. Sixty dollars for some roses. Roses are expensive. Give me edible arrangement. <laughs> and then my sister Cordelia said, "On a holiday, just seems make on a holiday just seems to make it more magical, but it wouldn't really matter if I do want him." Okay. Um, Damien said, "I personally wouldn't do it on a ho- holiday. I want a meaningless day that we can make special because of our own engagement. I don't care for a crowd." Right. And then Cordelia said, "My no, my B day is about me." <laughs> yeah. Okay. He spent he spent what seventy five dollars for his side or for for his. Wait, he, for, he was the side. He was, he was the, the side, side. Right. I don't know how to phrase that. And so did he say the room price or no? Well, he I paid for. The room. I'm pretty sure he paid for the room. Okay. Did y'all get a room? How much did y'all pay for the room? And what does she get you? You still didn't answer I, that. Rooms are, I would say like a regular room is probably like $75 with taxes and stuff, but it's Valentine's Day. So, you know, they hike up the prices and he probably want to be romantic, even though what room honestly, going to? honestly, I mean, it's Valentine's Day though. You know, you get the like the jacuzzi, you know. What jacuzzi room costs $75? No, I'm talking about, that's what I'm saying. If it's just a regular, then that's just a $75 room, you know. But if it's some, you know, Rose See, this, is why, this is another reason why I can't be no side girl. You're not finna. I don't care who you are. <laughs> I don't care. You're not taking me no seventy five dollar room because I already know what the hotel looking like. I ain't got time. This I is a regular room. 
I mean, but you got to be in and out. It's like a, it's like Jiffy Lube. It's like no. an oil change. I mean, no. the, and it's not even change. about yeah, like having change. like a high quality standard. It's about the lower the quality, the the worse of the services. So if it's oh, like yeah, a low down hotel role industry. place, I'm not, I don't think that bed's clean and I'm not laying in that. I'd rather just do it in your car. <laughs> okay. Let's Maybe go park in a dark house. place. I'm not, <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> All right. That's, uh, now you got memories. All right. Um, all right. Do we have any comments that need to be read or, you know? Okay. So to recap, the question was, um, if you was to get engaged, do you want to be on a major holiday? If so, which holiday? Um, if not, why? Um, you know, so mine was, um, I prefer a, a regular day. Um, don't get me the ring that's being advertised. I'll consult with people that I know to get my ring. Um, and you should know me. Like, I want it to be magical. I want it to be special. Um, all right, so... The fourth question we have here is the holidays, once again. And we're gonna talk about the stimulus, right? So we're gonna go with the $600 one because that was the one that was like approved first before um, Trump was like the $2,000. Okay, so you know how moms be selling their kids, right? You know, like, let some people carry them on their taxes, right? As a dependent. So they already make prior arrangements for that. So let's just say they'd be like, oh, they get 2,500 for the kid. And so they make arrangements for, okay, I want $1,000. So that means the person that carried them um, get 1,500 and their taxes are lowered, right? Now, nobody anticipated a pandemic. Nobody knew about, we was getting stimulus and all this other stuff. So now with that being said, it's the holidays. When we get the $600, does the person, let's say, for instance, uh, Courtney had a kid. She let me use the kid on my taxes. Am I supposed to give her money from the $600? And if you say, yes, Ashley, you got to give her some money, then how much? How much we talking? Or if it's no, no, we never even agreed to that. Da -da 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 -da. What are your thoughts on it? You want to take that one, Courtney? I guess. So the stimulus, because even when we have the other stimulus, didn't some people get more for having kids that they claimed on their taxes? Yeah, like, it was $500 per kid, three kids max. Okay. Mm, this is a tricky one. Because let's say you're not even talking to the person that lets you claim them on their taxes. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I would, okay. If we're talking about generally, I would say yes, because you wouldn't be getting that extra money if they didn't let you carry them if, exactly so generally i would say yes how much okay let's just assume that they're getting 500 extra for each kid right and you only claim one well how much because our people who let other people claim i would say the same amount or based off you know whatever y'all agree to the same amount that they got from when they when you claim them on their taxes should be the same amount percentage as they get with the stimulus. You know what I mean? Okay. So if okay. they got maybe like a thousand dollars extra for claiming your kid, you know, claiming one of your kids, right? And then maybe you're like, okay, I get a thousand extra. I'm gonna give you uh twenty percent off that or whatever. You should be okay. giving them twenty percent off of whatever extra you're getting for their kid for the stimulus. That's how I see it. Okay. So what if the mom said? Oh, hell no, because you got to understand, we're in a pandemic. Like, oh, hell no, that's my child. I want the whole thing. Because if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't even got the 1500 Like, So what if they say, I want the whole thing? No. Okay. You didn't want the whole thing when you let me claim them, so what's the big deal now? <laughs> and second of all, you weren't going to get nothing for it. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> now you, you just being greedy. And then what you going to do? You're going to call the IRS because then you and me going to get in trouble. So now what? <laughs> Right. What about you, Tisa? Well, it all depends on how you look at it. Um, me personally, as far as the stimulus, I do say actually, in all actuality, uh, if they just, I'm going to just use you guys. Okay, so okay. if I, I got three kids and I let both of y'all get one and I have one. 
Okay. But okay. y'all actually didn't need my one, but I was helping y'all and letting y'all get my one. Okay. Then, of course, you know, most definitely you should give me some of the tax money because you really didn't need it, but I helped you. Now, okay. not knowing, like you said, that the pandemic was coming, well, well, a lot of people didn't really know what was happening and all of that stuff. And you find out, boom, we get a stimulus and you get five hundred. Yeah, all that stuff. So then now my next thing is I feel like th- now this is just me and how I'm looking at it. It's just my opinion. I forgot to hit record. <laughs> it's just <laughs> my opinion. Really? <laughs> I'm just gonna have to pull it off of Facebook. But I was like, it just hit me. <laughs> But go ahead. <laughs> but um, but in all actuality, just my opinion, I feel as if the person who did file them really shouldn't want to try to keep that stimulus money because you, the only agreement we had was for you just to do your taxes, and I was helping you. And if I'm out of a job and I got all three of my kids, which is you don't even have them then don't you think it's quite fair that I do get the money for my kids? I love that's, it. That's right. That's just how I look at it because I only let you, I only help you. Now, I you know, okay, like, so like, you had a job, but what if that person's out of a job too? Everybody out of a job. That's what like, I'm saying. I understand, I under, technically, I understand. technically, if we go with your theory, you said you let me, Courtney, and then you, both of y'all working. I ain't working. So I need my little money. And I'll, you know. Okay, so then that's where you would just say, well, Kista, you know I'm not working or nothing, so is it cool if we just have this? Like, you communicate with the person, but okay, don't automatically okay. think you should be able to hold it just because I allowed you to file. Like, I, I was but, Okay, you. I, I understand the communication thing. Like, if you say, like, you know, I got all these kids and I'm struggling, da, 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 so can we talk about this? I think it's the same thing. You shouldn't automatically think that I'm going to give it to you either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I understand, but because you, I mean, at the end of the day, I didn't hold a gun up to your head and said, let me <laughs> claim your kids on my taxes. That's no, what I did. And you also, but if you open you up, also the- didn't automatically say, oh, no, Keisha, you can keep them. I don't need them this year. That's very true. There was a conversation. That's what I'm saying. It should go both ways. Don't it, okay. you saying I shouldn't expect to keep it. You shouldn't expect for me to give it to you. <laughs> that's where you well, open that conversation up like if it was my sister let's say like my sister let me claim one of her kids or whatever right and i got my little extra and you know everyone knows that you're getting extra for the kids and she was like listen i'm struggling i'm out of a job duh, 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 duh. do you mind if i get you know my part of that stimulus back or whatever blah blah, blah. if she says yes i'm be like yeah i might keep 50 dollars of it but sure i'll give you the 450 whatever you know what I mean? <laughs> but like, if we have that open co- conversation, that's one thing. But if we're talking about generally, I feel like you shouldn't expect me to just give it to you either. Because the same right. way, see, that's as, why. As, but that's where pay, you didn't have to offer it. And, and that's like, where if, it, if we're being real mature, there's my thing. You shouldn't offer nothing that you don't mean. It's, but see, that's what I'm saying. We only offered, and we only had that agreement for taxes purposes only. So that's why I'm saying as far as you do communicate with each other and you do say, okay, well, if you just say, well, I wasn't going to give you any, and I'm just like, well, you know, I only let you claim them for your taxes, anything like not knowing this was going to happen. Exactly. I, I mean, didn't know this was going to happen. We could, we could, we could probably see about doing <laughs> like, I just, I just don't see like, or, you know, I get what you're trying to say, but the same way you didn't know, I didn't know either. <laughs> True, but see, <laughs> but Courtney, now that's where just because you didn't know that don't mean you get to keep that lady money, them chilling money now. That don't mean that she should automatically assume that I'm doing it. Them chilling these Chef R.D. Uh, oodles and noodles, beanie weenies, <laughs> vainas, them chilling. Most of the time, most of the time, ain't they home from school too? Like that part. Most of the time, you got food stamps anyway. Now you count her pockets, not Courtney. You can't. But I'm that. just saying, I'm not. I'm, see, not so that's what I'm, I'm just saying. adding that on the argument. Like, but I'm, I'm being so serious about the same way that I should, that you think that I shouldn't expect to keep it. I feel like you should expect that I'm going to automatically give it to you. The same way you didn't know the pandemic was coming, the same way I didn't know. Well, so, I, I but but you got to remember, it. though, as a, you're looking at it as you're trusting your friend to actually 
be able to come to you and say, hey, so... You if she's my friend, she should be able to come to me and say, hey, I think that I should get my whole stimulus check because I got all these kids and I'm struggling. Right, well, however it may come, I yeah. understand that and say, but yes, also, I'm saying you should not And also at the same time... Then and I'm also at the same, And also at the same time, you also know what your yeah. agreement was. Huh? You also know what your agreement was. Your agreement was taxes only. Okay, and okay, and then those were the taxes, and because of those taxes, I got extra for my stimulus check that we both didn't know that was going to happen. The stimulus, the stimulus check, it doesn't count though. Huh? That is where you would have to actually. But that it doesn't. It, that agreement. check is still in my name. That went to my right. bank account. Right. Okay. <laughs> so, so, okay. Uh, so, <laughs> the point we. Okay. All right. So, um. <laughs> there we go. You they disrespect said, um Courtney disrespectful talking about they got food Ooh. stamps. Listen, <laughs> that was me just saying that for argument's sake. Let's take that out. <laughs> Let's All take right. that out. But so like I, what's to, what's basically what needs to happen is no, like you both said, nobody knew that this was gonna happen. This exactly. extra money, this pandemic, nobody knew what was gonna happen. But at the end of the day, I feel like we gotta do what's best for the kids, you know. And then also you don't want to ruin a friendship because of money free money that nobody knew that they was gonna get and then at the end of the day also um it's about the kids you know it was helping the person with the taxes in the beginning but then now it's about we need to help feed these kids because you got to think about it if kisa let us carry her kids you know to help us out with our taxes now because we don't even have kids but she got three of them and now they home from school and yeah, let's say they do uh get the food stamps or whatever. But when she's low on funds, she's gonna contact us anyway to borrow money to pay her rent. But that's what I'm saying. Money. If if you are at the point to where you allow me to claim your kids, we already have a type of relationship. Right, right. And so if that happens and you feel like you should get all that money, you should be able to call the phone since you're gonna let me claim your kids. You should be able to call the phone and say, Hey, I feel this type of way. Can I have the da, 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 da? you know what I mean? So call Courtney and call me and before you call Damon or whoever else and say, you know that bitch, you, she ain't even off for nothing. Come on, $50. Come I'm, not off, I'm going, okay, no, but that's no, not, that's no, what no, I'm saying. I'm, that's that. what I'm, I'm saying. I'm being real. I'm not going to offer it. You, you don't have to ask for it because one, the stimulus check was based <laughs> off of what you did on your taxes, correct? You allow me to, you allow me to claim those kids on my taxes. So you, so just, you can't no, blame me for the amount wasn't based off of what you did on your taxes. No, I got to get, so Courtney, you're telling you're gonna log on to Facebook, post those gorgeous pictures that you post every day, and act like you don't know it's a pandemic, and they they just sent you that check and not contact them. If we all know we get a stimulus check, you gonna know that I'm getting that money. Pick up the phone and say, Courtney, I feel like I should get that money. Okay, oh, cool. So you are know, you saying you're gonna you anticipate feel? her? You are, you're gonna anticipate Keisha calling you saying, Hey, I need to, I need if not all of it, I need a good bit of it. That's if if I if okay, because granted. I, I remember, remember, I just had to ask y'all, like, they did get extra for the kids, right? Right. So right. let's say that um, if I actually knew for a fact that I was getting extra because of the kid that I claimed, I would anticipate Keisha calling me and saying, you know, where's my, you know, where's my money for the, uh, that, that kid or whatever. I would anticipate that. Right. I'm just saying, don't automatically think I'm supposed to give it to you the same way that, <laughs> that you think that I'm automatically supposed to get, they're like, don't expect me to automatically be like, here you go. Because like you said, I didn't know a pandemic was coming either. Right. Nobody knew. All right. So let me get my opinion because clearly this is a, a this is a deep topic, you know. And um, all right. So I would, I, I, I'm going with Courtney again. Uh, I'm most definitely going to give money. But um, I like how she broke it down because I was like confused at how I was going to break down the, the 500. I don't want to give half. No. Because first off, I'm the one that's been working. You know, typically people that do pawn off their kids, um, they either haven't worked or either they just got a lot of them, you know, that they can, you know. So I'll probably do like the 20% as well um, or 25%. But um, I'll automatically do that. You know, but I think the problem comes in what I was seeing earlier in the year when this pandemic started was people, moms was like, no, I want all the money. I want all of it. Da, da, da. And I'm like, come on, bro. Like, 
don't 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 mess up a, a, a relationship and a situation y'all done been having for several years now off of this five hundred dollars but i think what the problem was was people wasn't working and they was like oh i need all my money what's good then they was taking it outside of their friendship or that business arrangement you know and talking to other people then it was coming back and it was just a whole lot of crap but as far as me i think we all agree uh we'll give some uh i'm an automatic courtney is a you need to call <laughs> and make an appointment so I can, we can talk about this you know um okay can i clarify something uh, no uh-uh. <laughs> you're gonna be the villain you're gonna be no, the no, no, no. i wanted to go back to the 20 percent thing like i would assume that i'm giving like a percentage of what um like the same thing i gave for like when i claimed the kid Correct. i would assume that off the bat you would have to communicate with me that you wanted the whole thing you know okay. that's what i'm saying that's what i wanted to clarify okay all right so let's uh let's go to the hold, hold up before you before you go to that one Okay. So you have a few comments about it. Uh, Cordelia says, whoever has the children need the money. Uh, the stimulus was to help people do the less income during the pandemic. Then, do you say it, da- Damien? Or is it Damien? I say Damien, but if I say it wrong, please correct me. Damien. Okay, he says the mom should get the whole thing, in my opinion. I feel like she helped that person get more money, giving them their kid. They didn't have to do that. Well, the mom should be in control of who get what. Then Cordelia says a tax a Low tax she agreement. She got more money too, but we don't. Cordelia says a tax <laughs> agreement is a tax agreement. The stimulus isn't taxes, which is true. The stimulus okay. was based off of your taxes, though. No, if you didn't that, claim any kids, you did it. got it the tax oh. the, the five hundred dollars for the kids. No, no, no. The only thing they used the taxes for was it just made it easier for you to get your stimulus. They could find you easier, but it really wasn't based But how would that. they know how many kids they were compensating I mean, they for used it to find you, unless you file taxes? Yeah, I mean, they used it to find you and your direct deposit and stuff like that, and then they saw who you had up there. But it Exactly, really that's right what I'm saying. Like, if they didn't claim those kids, they wouldn't have got the, the 500 extra. Right. Okay, so then... Damon says it's 500 a child, so that 500 for the kid, technically. Uh, then Cordelia said, true, never assume no one owes anything. And then uh, Courtney read the other one where, it says, where Damon said, Courtney disrespectful, talking about they got food stamps. And then Marie said, well, Shug Knox, Marie said, your hair is fire, Ashley. Thank you. And Cordelia says, again, it would be the right thing to do to call the parent and discuss it but no one should assume anything all right so that was that went deep uh <laughs> and then i thought it was gonna go <laughs> all right okay so we're gonna the final question i have five questions but we're gonna wrap it up with this one okay so um it's the holidays and uh uh I don't know if like clubs and stuff are open or whatnot. I think some of them are. If not, then people are doing like, I don't know why they think like just having a, a event at home or in the backyard or something like that's still not spreading something, you know, being a spreader. But okay, so we're going to go with the, we're from the South. And so the phrase that I grew up re- hearing was uh, birds of a feather flock, flock together. Birds of a feather flock together. Have y'all heard that before? Yeah. Okay, so basically just because your homegirl has a reputation does that automatically mean that should be placed upon you so for instance let's say use me um i have a reputation not in real life this is just a social a a theory but i have a reputation for having multiple men that i like to treat you know and so Courtney and Keisha hang with me. So they they thinking like, so guys that are interested in Courtney and Keisha, they thinking like, oh, well, you 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 fucking with uh pickles and Ashley, you know, you know that lady that do the yummy tummy. Oh shit, they got it like that too. So you PS, you got y'all got PS5, buddy. You know, so a guy is thinking like, oh, they're gonna be, I'm they're gonna, you're gonna treat them like how I treat my dudes, right? But what they don't realize is that. Kista's only giving you $10 so you can supersize your meal. 
Courtney, on the other hand, she's going to be able to get you um, her $50. You, you're going to be able to, you know, buy, put something on layaway, you know, <laughs> pay for your layaway, you know. Well, I'm the only one that's cashing out, baby. <laughs> so, birds of the feather, do they flock together? Like, do y'all believe in that? But typically, that's usually dealing with, like, some thought, like, horish type of reputation. So, what do you guys think? Uh, I'm going to go first on that one. True or false? I'm going to go first on that one. Only reason being because I, yeah. So, um, I'm going to have to say that's false. Okay. And I only use these birds because, you know, people think of dove as the, a a dove as the peaceful bird. Well, it is representative of the peace bird. But then you say that, you know, then they call the other ones like pigeons. They call them, you know, like chicken heads and stuff like that. Um, so back in my college days, it was four of us. And I can absolutely say that I was the dove out the group. I didn't do half of what they did. But you have a few people. I had a lady that told me, she was like, everybody know, everybody know you a hoe and stuff. And I said, well, ma'am, how do you know if I'm one or not? I was like, I'm such a hoe, but your son left me because I didn't tell him I love him. What you mean? And I wouldn't give him none, but I'm a hoe. And so she was like, everybody know you was hanging with hoes. Oh, so now we got it right. You knew I was hanging with hoes, but you didn't know if I was one. So I always heard that birds of a feather flock together type thing. Don't get me wrong. There are some instances where they do. And likewise, bringing in my Michelle side, because Michelle been absent for a little while this whole time. (laughs) You have where it is similar spirits flock together. That's how come you have this, that's them cliques that's in the church. A lot of them is them them cliques that's in the church. Those are the similar spirits flocking together. But they would always say, because they knew what the girls I was hanging with were doing, they automatically Mm -hmm. assumed I did it. But luckily... One or two of them, if they would hear it or if they heard it and stuff, they would say, no, you can't say that about her. She don't know. She ain't. She don't get down so, like that. that right. That's not what would Jesus do. God. Well, well, at the time, I really wasn't, um, you know, saved. So, I mean, I was drinking. They they could absolutely tell I was drinking. I did try to smoke, but smoking wasn't for me. I was a drinker. Uh, I did. Smoke turkey wings, smoke neck bones. I ain't smoking it. <laughs> I tried, but it just wasn't for me. And I, uh, the thing, listen, the things they have done, Lord have mercy. I ain't gonna put their business out there like that because if they watching, they will know what I'm talking about them. Please but don't, I, don't, I don't need no controversy. Right. So <laughs> the things they done, I'm like, uh, I've never done. Like I just never would have had the nerve to do that. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that I was perfect and I did nothing. I just didn't do how they did. Like, I couldn't. Okay. And I wasn't and all of that stuff. But I have to absolutely say that's false because I, look, look at all three of us right now. Like, you two are cussing 2.5 seconds. I don't. <laughs> I'm so, working on being a better woman. <laughs> Cause I'm about to have some kids and I don't want to, I don't want to use this potty. I don't want to use vulgar language around my children, you know, so I'm good. You know. That's, I don't know why people act like that's such a hard thing to do. You don't sit there and act a fool at work. You can do it in front of some kids. Yeah. But I mean, like as much as I did now, you know, like, cause you know how you have, like, I was talking to my cousin about this about, we have three different, we speak three different languages. We have the language like this right here amongst friends that's one then we have our business language where we go to work and you we usually sounding like the white person and then you have the uh the one way it's like your family like your slang your ebonics your you know stuff like that but um yeah i just you can you can talk around your kids but they sponges i just don't want uh my kids going to school and then they they get like a a b because they're so used to getting A's. And then they'd be like, 
Oh, I know you lying. I know you fucking lying because they hear me say that. <laughs> right. I know, but you know? I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you cannot say it at work, you cannot say it around your kid. That's what right, I'm saying. Right, right, right. Yeah. It's hard. <sighs> yeah. All right, Courtney, how do you feel about it? Um, versus fellas flock together. True, false? I'm back and forth about it. Um, I'm back and forth about it because, I mean, like you said, like, uh, we are a good example of uh, not being the same. I think generally we kind of have like a same mindset, maybe if you want to go there, but I think even if we agree, we would all do stuff di a different way. Does that make sense? Right, right, absolutely. Um, and so like, you know, cause they're like, okay. So you know how there are some people who just don't do shit, don't want to better themselves. You know, they do the same. Thing every day you know they wake up you know maybe smoke don't do nothing except you know sit on outside on the curb you know in front of their mama house you know they do the same thing they're not trying to bet she's themselves she's not you talking about people. you she's just talking about uh, people <laughs> right i'm talking about people in general but usually you see those people only hang with other people who ain't doing right nothing. you know what i mean tree. so or standing in front of the liquor store or a gas station right right exactly so usually you only see those people do that with the same type of people right but like you said it's like I've been in situations where I was with girls who I'm not gonna call them whores because I don't really like calling people whores because like I say it's not really uh, a bad thing but expressing their body their sexual freedom right so they were girls that were really into uh having casual sex like more than a normal person would and I was with them and a group of guys and those guys assumed that I was down to do the same thing just because they was you know doing that you know what I mean like they were to the side you know on the couch in another room doing their business and the other guy friend that was supposed to be for me thought that that was what was going down and I'm like <laughs> no <laughs> you know <laughs> And so I see why people think that, like a lot of people think like birds of a feather flock together, but I wasn't like those girls. I'm not, as much as I, I wouldn't be so lonely now, but as much as I would like to be, you know, I'm not. So I'm just back and forth about it. Cause you know, people say birds of a feather, feather flock together, but they also say opposites attract. So it's just kind of like, you know. Right. Okay. Well, um, I do believe, um, God, uh, um, Kista, you kind of hit got me with that spirit thing because you was like, No, they don't, you, it's false, but they kind of may have like the same spirit or energy, or whatever. But overall, I believe that it's false. I don't believe that, um, birds of a feather flock together. Um, nine times out of ten, it's just that they have things in common, like activities, or you just grew up together. That's your that being your neighbor the whole time. Or, that's just your blood. That's your relative, you know, your classmate. Um, but y'all do have things that mesh y'all to, to keep y'all together. Like me. I'm I'm uh uh y'all know well Keista more, but but more of as an adult, y'all know like I don't do like the title thing or like the friend, like I fucks with you, but I don't I just I don't know, I just have a label thing. Me and my therapist talking about it. Am I your friend, Ashley? Courtney, right? Of course you are. Yes. Are. all right so <laughs> so the thing the thing is like <laughs> i've always been like an oddball i've always been like different you know um i've like i don't i've never smoked my family's tried to get me to smoke they tried to do like what is it where you you a person smoking and they're like blowing in your face what? Shotgun. Like, shotgun. shotgun okay i just never wanted to do that because that coughing that <laughs> shit ain't attractive like i'm thinking so you want me to smoke that so i can do that i'm not talking about me but i'm just saying most people don't smoke to be cute yeah i don't want to do that <laughs> i don't want to do it and then as far as like getting drunk like I, i'm a sipper like I, i'm a sipper you know mostly like vacations you know when i'm being taken out on a date you know i order a casual drink you know whatever but um i just i'm just i'm different like and i, I i'm pretty sure a lot of people may be like what you don't smoke you don't drink no, I don't. Um, I mean, there's a lot of people who don't do either. No, but I, I've, I've been given the fact that they think I do that. Though. Like they think like I, like I just get and then 
type of status and upload it, you know, or do a video, you know. No, I don't. This is just straight off the a lot of shit that I see y'all posting. I'd be like, what the fuck? You know. But um, but yeah, I don't believe the birds of the flock together. Like I said, I just feel like a lot of times when you see these girls, because it's usually homegirls that um that get the thought reputation or the horse sexual freedom reputation. And like you said, Courtney, they assume because you with them that you doing you get down like that too. No, it's just that y'all just friends, y'all cousins, y'all classmates, or whatever it may be. Um, so I, I, I guess you can't judge a book by its cover or judge the book because it's in the, the series, like volume one, two, three, four, you know, shit like that. But um, you got to get to know the person individually. And if you see them showing them traits, ask them first and be like, hey, you get down like that? No, I do not. And then take it from there. But um, I do believe and we need to start taking this into consideration that even though birds and feather don't flock together, I mean, you also got to, we're adults here. Like if you do spending a lot of time with them, you know that that their reputation is going to rub off on you. Like what Courtney said, you can't automatically assume that I'm going to give you the money. You can't automatically assume that people are going to be like, oh, well, maybe Ashley don't do that. You know, they're just going to automatically be like, oh no, she get down like that. Like, I, you know, what that mouth do though? Like, like they going to want to know, you know? But, um, so I'm not saying like distance yourself from your friends, but I just feel like you should pick and choose where to go and where not to go with them. You know, um, if you, especially if you know how they get down, you know, if they get down, pass around, doorknob turning, like you just got to pick and choose. So if it's like, out to eat movies okay but if it's like a club you already know how they get down you're like nope i'll catch y'all when y'all ready to go to red lobster i ain't doing all that you know so those are my thoughts about it i think we all agree that we don't believe in that theory i thought it's back and forth about it okay back and forth about it i don't completely I'm agree but i don't completely disagree because like i said there are some like people who don't who ain't trying to do shit with their lives they normally hang around people who ain't trying to do shit with their lives they might have great aspects about them, but at the end of the day, they're not doing nothing. Okay. Well, then, that could um, be a yes and no answer, honestly. Yeah, that's that's what I was saying. I'm back and forth about it. Yeah, it could be yes and no. Well, whenever they're ready to get their life together, then they are, you know, they get. We, we do have a few comments. Um, okay. Sugar Knox said, nope, not at all. And then um, Cordelia said, I am friends with some females that do things that I would never and then she said, you hang with someone because y'all relate on something, but doesn't mean y'all relate on everything. Right. That's but true. see, that could also go the other way. That's why I say I'm back and forth about it. Okay. So I think what I, people show you. Yeah, you should, you should base it off of that. Yeah. Not all the time. Not all the time. Well, we'll I will rewatch this, in, this, uh, this episode and I'll pull off the spinoff questions and we'll go from there. But I'm Ashley. That's Courtney, that's Kiki Kista, that is Black Santa, focus. Why he make me blurry? Oh, there you go. And, uh, <laughs> yes, let's talk about Because <laughs> that's what she do, she do that, you know. But, um, can you, like, screenshot this? Like, can we take a picture of this or something? How can you? Oh. Screenshot it, Kista. Oh, I saw the thing bleep. I don't know how to All screenshot right. it. Me either. Did you get one? I, I didn't. I don't know how to do it. You know, I don't know how. You know, I'm old. But all right, you guys. Um, thank you for tuning in for the Christmas episode. We will see you Sunday for episode six, and that would be. Is that the last episode? Hold on, let me look. How many more? Well, yeah, that would be the last episode Sunday, December the twenty seventh for the year. Oh my god, we have like six episodes. I'm surprised we, we made it this long, to be honest. I know, right? Look, and we still got a long way to go because I still got stuff I need to do. I got to buy a camera. I got to buy, I got to get, I want to, um, the goal is to stream live on YouTube, uh, YouTube as well, because I need to put it over there, you know. But um, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging with us. And um, go, go wrap y'all kids' presents. Bye, y'all. I got to go finish cooking. Yeah, girl. Hey, man, we ran out of time. That's what happened to question five. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. We're going to do it Sunday. All right. Bye, you guys. Love you.